Hello, yes, welcome to Good Night Housing with Dan Housing. Today we have wonderful celebrity, yes, it's true, tough enough competitor, Classic Gaming Wiz, and CEO of Sega. Yes, this is wonderful Keith Housing. Hello, how are you doing? I'm doing good, Dan Housing. How is it you're doing? Oh, Dan Housing's doing very evil, you know, always nice. very nice and very evil. Ah, oh, you're a naughty boy. This I know. I've I've been watching you, and you're always up to some naughty boy mischief and doing some strange, strange things. You got you're working with dark magic. I feel. I'm um, glad I'm at a digital distance from you right about now. Yes. Well, the one of this is chair you're sitting in, and he's uh. Doing... Oh yeah, I think this thing chugs the gigabytes for sure. This is being long. I got go on headphones. Everything in my vicinity is very, very filled with electronics. Wow, it is, uh, yeah. looks like the Matrix in your room. Yeah, well, you know, I like to be inside the game. I can really get in there deep and feel the pulsation of the digital pleasure. Fantastic, Dan Housing. That's mm. Now, Dan Housing hears that you are competing in Tough Enough for the yeah. WWE. Yeah, uh, I'm still kind of waiting around to see you. I, I feel that uh, I'm, I'm just right on air. Buzzer call me anytime now because... Uh, as you probably saw, my uh, Tough Enough audition was the highest viewed in all, in history, actually, of all oh. Tough Enough submissions. And even Vincent McMahon himself tweeted it personally on his Twitter. So I'm like, all right, oh, man, I'm just waiting for them to give me a call now. But the time zone, the time difference might be why it's taking forever. You know, I hope he's Florida. getting call while you're asleep. And then, you know, you're just missing the phone call. Yeah, that's got to be it. Florida have got weird time zones, I think. They exist in our own universe, kind of, down there. A WWE universe, probably. Oh, that's that, that. There you go. That explains it. They exist in the WWE universe. I'm in the wrong dimension. Yes, you can. Yes. Well, as a uh, international, uh, interdimensional celebrity of some sort, Dan has maybe could help you out with this. Oh, uh, can you, do you work with, with time travel and quantum physics? Uh, well, Dan Housing can try to do so, but Dan Housing has an idea. So, uh, Vince Triple H McMahon, or whatever his name is. Hunter. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So, they seem to have misplaced this t-shirt that you might be familiar with. Oh, that looks like about my size, too. Yes, well, Dan Housing found it on the ground somewhere. If he's been holding it uh, hostage, if you will, oh. try to get $100 from them. And they have not called Dan Housing yet, probably because of the time zone differences. Uh, so, maybe to help you win this competition that is going on, Dan Housing can sell it to you. You know, that's kind of like a, like a hack right there. You're, you're like, a, you got a fabric game genie on you. You can just cheat, you can cheat me right into my contract. Exactly. If I put that on, I show up, they go, oh, you're one of the important, you know, they'll think I like, it's like wearing the name badge. They'll think yes. I work there. Basically, and then I can just go beat everybody up. Free pass into being signed with them, it would appear. At least Dan Housen sees these photos all the time. They are uh, wearing this t-shirt and it means that they have a contract. So, you know, Dan Housen found it. He thought, well, I work for Ring of Honor, so I cannot wear this t-shirt. Mm. I cannot. Do, do you wear a ring of honor? Is, yes. Is that, your, is that your visual representation of employment? Yes, it is uh, it's owned by Dave Honor, who is a menace. He does not promise mm. Dan. You live up to his promises to Dan Housen of giving him a blimp and such. But, oh, oh, you gotta get that blim. Now, you said this Vince fellow, he shared your tweet, huh? Yeah, yeah, he posted my video of me of getting bonked in the face with chairs, taking some chair shots to show them that I was tough enough with some of my friends around El Angeles. So he liked it. And then I did another follow-up. I actually did two, and both of them are most viewed tough enough videos. Um, some of them had my El Angeles friends in there. Uh, even Dolph Ziggler was in there, my nemesis. And uh, then I did another one where it showed me training with Rikishi to show him like, hey man, I'm 150 pounds of Fatal Fury. I mean business and I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna show you how it's done. Well, oh, so, so here's the thing. We got a lot of stuff to touch on right here. Yeah. So one, you should get two contracts because you have won tough enough twice then in Dan Housing's eyes. Mm -hmm. You have the most views. It's so exactly, that's how you win the internet. You win most viewed is most popular equals most skilled. Exactly. So Dan Housen's been arguing with Dave Honor about this and the internet uh, Twitter account, Twitter account, whatever, uh, that Dan Housen should be the television champion of Ring of Honor because he's the most famous wrestler on the roster. He's, you know, friends with Conan and The Rock and uh, CM Punk gave him his finishing move. So, you know. Oh, wow. Yeah, you're like an all-star wrapped all rolled into one. Exactly. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to write many letters. 
Oh, well, you've already all the layers. Also, I'd say maybe just go and make the belt yourself and start wearing it. And then they'll be like, the, the audience is in love with this. And then they have to do it. And then they'll, you'll force them into giving you what they want. That's what I do. I try to do what I want. And then people hopefully fall in line. But usually they don't. They leave me alone standing by myself. Well, wow, that's quite terrible. We should curse those people. Yeah. Uh, yes, but Dan House, maybe we're going to steal the title. And then, you know, we'll see what happens. Uh, yeah, that's a good way to do it. Let's see. You said uh, your nemesis is Dolph Ziggler, which is actually kind of a friend of Dan Housing. So uh, how did this... What? And standing up comedy could use some work. That's how I feel. Oh. So, yeah. What a little low blow there, that's why. Well, hey, it's an accurate blow in my opinion. So he, he needs an attitude adjustment, and I've been planning on giving it to him for a long time. We've had a lot of run-ins. A lot of, we are nose to nose at Comic-Con one year. Oh, it, he, that guy gets on my nerves, that's for sure. There's uh, some sort of multiplicity happening that Dan Housen has noticed. There's a dad bot. Kind of looks like you. Maybe a related, to, maybe someone cloned you and, uh, you know. Uh, you know, I think I, you've made me realize something. There must, there must be a reason I am so incredibly strong. Yes. He's like at the end of Blade Runner. Was he yes. an android too and he didn't know? Maybe I am an android. You I do like lights and gigabytes. Robots probably love gigabytes. Maybe that's, that's why. A good shape like uh, the Terminator. Oh yeah, my infinite body. I keep yeah. forgetting. No. How did that even get there? How you haven't even done working out? How did it happen to me? This just happens to the best of us. If you do, which you will, win tough enough. Mm. What is the dream match for Keith? Dolph Ziggler. For oh, sure. It has to happen. Good. So Dan Housen has some, uh, even though we're kind of friends, some advice for you if you fight this fellow. Okay. Before the bell rings, because it would be illegal if the bell is already rung, drop mm. to your knees and punch him in the grind. Oh, that's a good one. It, right it, you just hit him. And then you win. You do not have to do any work. He does not hit you with a super kick or whatever his mm -hmm. move may be. Uh, you do not risk getting hit with, as you called it, his noodle hair. Yeah, yeah, his ramen hair. But I feel like some, that's something he would do. So what if we go do it at the same time, we punch each other's fists and we shatter our hands? Oh, well, Shatter hand, another good video game, by the way. <laughs> yours will not shatter because you're an android. That's, I forgot. You, thank you for reminding me and explaining. Oh, well. I feel no. like I just went to the doctor and I just discovered the <laughs> truth of myself. Of Dan Housen's good brain. Dr. Dan Housen. Oh, that's good. So, yeah. so there's another side of this, which when you win tough enough, we could potentially see you at an NXT takeover of some sort, sitting in the crowd. The, the camera will pan over, and it will say, uh, hopefully Dan Housen is pronouncing your last name correctly. Keith yes. Carey. Yeah, that's it. Well, what would that be? And you could you could just say, okay, good, we're signed, and it'll go to the backstage, and you'll see Triple H, and you'll do the handshake photo. Yeah, yeah. That's what I dream of, is doing the waving, and they're sitting there, it's like, oh, there's a new signee. And then I get that classic picture with Triple H pointing at me as he's really thinking, why did we sign this guy? But I got a smile for the picture. Uh, Triple H, yeah, uh, we signed this guy. Uh. I didn't want you, but Vince did, so fine. Get out of my face. Dan Housing, uh, thank you for being on the show today. If you have anything else you'd like to say, uh, or plug, Dan Housing loves plugs because then you make more monies. Or just talk about in general. Feel free. This is the open ground for you to do so. Well, I, I want to end on saying I am very overjoyed. Like, just honestly, you are a living legend, in my opinion. I'm not exaggerating. You are the hands down the reason I started watching Ring of Honor. I, I would just watch here and there, check you know things out. But you are the reason I watch. So thank you. I'm very happy I get to be inside your internet video interview and. Uh, the last thing I'll say is I started a brand new YouTube channel called Keith Craft, and it's me playing Minecraft. And I know a lot of people hear Minecraft and they go, oh gosh, it's for children. But trust me, my video is intense. It's, it's, a, it's a high octane thrill ride of intensity. So thank you for being on. Uh, two living legends uh, coming together. Yay. Yes. And Love thank you to Tournament of the Nerds, my friend Tournament of the Nerds, who helped make this happen, who's a big wrestling and nerd fan. Check out Tournament of the Nerds, my friend Justin. He's a cool guy. He's actually the one who eggs me on uh, to call out Dolph Ziggler years ago. So shout right. out to him. Yes. Shout outs to him then. Tournament of yeah. the Dead Houses. Yeah, there you go. Fantastic. Thank you, Keith. 
Thank you. May your enemies be cursed. Good luck. Best of luck to you. Uh, challenging Vince McMahon to a contract. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Dan Housing wishes you a very evil time. Thank, Thank you very much. See you later. Bye-bye. Goodbye.